What's going on guys? Today I will be building my um, UNC Tar Heel Speed Flex. Um, I've had this helmet for a while. Um, you've seen it in previous videos hanging on my wall. I decided to take it down and show a build. So um, I've got a Sports Star Victory T-Rex chin strap. Um, I don't have any gel in this one because I wasn't using it for um, like field purposes. And then I have a um, Tar Heel Blue Shock Zero G visor. And then I have a white face. We got a um, white face, Speed Flex face mask. I'm not sure the exact name of it. I'll put a link in the description. I'll have a link to everything here in the description. So I have chin strap, visor, face mask, and um, for support in the, the helmet. Um, it's a speed flex. I got it for my birthday a couple years ago, and um, it had a bad bladder, so we turned it into a UNC helmet. Um, so, without further ado, let's um, get into building this. So first, I'm going to put the um, visor on the face mask. So, and from experiences, I found out the best way to put the face the visor in the face mask is to Put your clips on first. Your visor clips. I got Oakley visor clips because, I, they, in my opinion, they work. One, they look better than these shot clips, and I think they um get less of a gap. But that's my opinion. So you might have a different one. But also, in from. Past experiences, I found out the best way to put this vi the visor on is to take the face mask off and line the visor up with the clips. And once you get that done, hold it down, get the clip where it needs to be, grab on, oops, grab your own. Um, what's this thing called? I'm not sure. You're gonna grab this, you're gonna twist it down. You're not going to twist it down all the way because you want to be able to move the other part of your visor so you can get that lined up as well. And once you get this one lined up, you should be good to go. Make sure you, you push the gap in and then you can tighten the two screws. Until they won't go anymore. And I'm going to put this to the side real quick. And we're going to put on the chin strap. And you've seen many embarrassing things from my channel. I forget to put on the chin strap a lot of the time. So I'm not going to forget this time. I'll save you a couple minutes. And now I'm going to put on the face mask. And um, I'll be using a Rydell tool to put on the face mask because Speed Flux has these special clips and they're not screw you gotta click this little button and with the end of this and you gotta put it through this little ring it's pretty hard when you first do it but once you get the hang of it it's pretty easy in my opinion it still takes a little bit of pressure but once once you get it down on the pad it's pretty easy And um, I also have white face mask clips. Forgot to tell you that. I just remembered. So what you do is you click down the button in the center with the pegs on the side. Once you click that, 
what you do that it should lock in place and then you're going to grab this like this and you're going to use the end of it and you're going to push until you hear it click that once you hear that click you know it will be locked in and ready to go And just do the do that. Do the same thing four times for the four clips. And remember, you gotta hear that click or whew, this face mask might come off when you're playing. And that's not what you want to happen. This will not work. Mm. That does not work. Let's try that again. Um, I'm gonna cut the can. Cat's face, face mask clip in there. Took me a minute, but I got it. So um, I'll show you what it looks like on my head. Second. That is the front side, other side, and the back. On the back, I have an embossed tech flag and a ACC decal. That'll be all for this video.